Good afternoon and welcome to your Thursday edition of Caitlin's Weather Update. I'm senior student meteorologist Caitlin Roberts. We had a nice warm day today with highs in the mid 60s, but cooler weather is on the way along with some rain tonight. As of 3.30 p.m. on our Midtown campus, we have overcast skies. The rain has not started moving in yet, but it is trying. I'll show you that in just a moment. As of 4 p.m. in Danbury, we have those overcast skies with a temperature of 59 degrees. We actually did hit a record high temperature earlier today. The old record was 63 and we hit 64 a few hours ago. And the humidity in Danbury is climbing a bit at 60% with those breezy conditions with winds out of the south at eight miles per hour gusting to 21. On our headlines this afternoon, we have a wind advisory that goes into effect later tonight. I'll show you that in just a moment. And we have rain coming in overnight, possibility for a thunderstorm embedded in that, and then things cool off for the weekend. Here's that wind advisory in effect. It's actually in effect for most of the eastern half of the country. But in our area, it's in effect in northern New Jersey, New York, and the western half of Connecticut. The eastern half of the state actually has a high wind warning. They'll be getting even more wind than we are. The wind advisory starts at 11 p.m., goes through 10 a.m. Friday. We can expect winds in the general area of 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts up to 55. I don't think we'll see 55 mile an hour gusts in Danbury. We'll probably be closer to 45, but that's still pretty hefty. So here is the system that's bringing us that weather tonight. It's actually creating a severe weather situation in the south. There's been tornadoes on and off all afternoon in the Mississippi, Alabama area. In our area, this front is going to just move through and bring us all of that rain overnight. Here's those clouds starting to come into the area. And it is still dry for now, but we do have rain out in Pennsylvania and New York that will be working its way to the north and east, bringing us about up to an inch of rain overnight tonight. So here is the timeline for that rain. The heaviest precipitation starts moving into our area by about 10 p.m. Danbury's right here. And then it transitions to showers instead of a steady rain by 4 a.m. tomorrow before moving out of the area in time for your morning commute. So for tonight, we have that rain and a possibility of a thunderstorm with a low of 50 degrees, very mild, unseasonable for this time of year and winds out of the south at 20 to 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 40 or 45. And then tomorrow, we have a high of 50 degrees expected, but that's going to occur right around midnight as the temperature will be dropping all day, down, getting down to about the th mid 30s for the afternoon. Some of those rain showers will stick around in the morning, but they'll clear up in time for us to have a sunny afternoon, if a bit cool in the 30s with winds out of the northwest at 15 to 20 miles per hour, gusting to 35 in the morning before calming down later in the day. For your extended forecast, we have those showers changing over to sun for tomorrow, and then Saturday, things cool down into the mid-30s with a chance for snow showers on and off all day, making Sunday the pick of the weekend at 33 and mostly sunny. And then President's Day on Monday will be beautiful for this time of year with mostly sunny skies and a high near 50 degrees. And then on Tuesday, we do have another chance for some rain moving in. As of right now, it looks to be more of an afternoon and evening event and temperatures will stay mild in the 50 degree range. Thank you so much for watching. I'm senior student meteorologist, Caitlin Roberts. Be sure to follow us on social media and have a great day.